Welcome to the boss. I introduce you to Time Stone Pokeball Iron Eggman. So essentially, I feel like the concept of this boss was Eggman was watching Pokemon and Iron Man one night, and he got drunk and was like, Hey, I should make an Iron Man suit that looks like a Pokeball, and it can conduct electricity, and I'll stick a purple gemstone that I dig out of the ground in it. That's a great idea. So, right off bat, you, you can tell that the design's really weird. But, <laughs> the fight really gets interesting when he teleports you to random different areas of the uh, field, which you have to go to, because there's no way to avoid those ethereal hands that come out of nowhere. <clears throat> and he sends you to some random fucking place where you have to fight one of the four mini-bosses that you fought already. Hey, cool. Although the upside of being able to take out his tentacles is now you're going to be able to hit him a lot more frequently. Especially when he's just charging. Because now he doesn't have any tentacles, or now he doesn't have any protection on the ground. Oof. Oh no. And now we come to the hardest one that I've found. It's the one that turns, the one that's basically a ninja star. That's not good. We're gonna have to hit him twice. Or just avoid his attack, I don't know which. Okay, we just have to avoid the attack. I can live with that. Every time I've come up against him, I've always actually tried to hit him. Hey! We took down his, one of his four tentacles. Okay. Come on, Eggman, be reasonable. Be reasonable, I say, as I'm fighting a Pokeball mech. But if you be able, if, well, well, what? Did we hit him 16 times? I think I won. Like most final balls, if you hit him 16 times, I guess you win. And now, since we got all the Chaos Emeralds, I guess we're brought to the real final boss fight, which is this dude. And I'm guessing he's the fifth robot that we haven't fought yet. And now... Eggman tried to fight him? And look, the time's all whacked out. So... Do we have to hit this dude? Like, what am I doing? I don't understand. I, I guess I have to hit him. Like, you know, pretty much every Sonic boss fight, but... Is that- wait, so we're fighting Eggman too? But what about- Are we fighting them together? Where are the- where's the other dude? Oh, there he is. So... As Supersonic, if you tap X- If you tap X while you're in the air, you can fly. And if you tap X again while you're flying, you do a dash attack. Which is really strong, but it takes up five rings. It helps you get out of the way. It might do more damage. I don't think it does. Uh, how do I take... How, there we go. I guess I have to attack him while he's attacking me. And did I just hit Eggman? Okay. And I just hit him again. And now Eggman. And Eggman dropped the stone. Did, did I win? No. Um, okay, so I guess if you want to attack him, you have to hit him through his... Uh... Oh, crap. 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 Gotta collect rings, gotta collect rings, gotta collect rings. Gotta collect rings, 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 gotta collect rings. No! Oh, thank god. Well, at least we're restarting from the supersonic fight last time. Last time I made it here, I only had one life. And I died instantly. Okay! Okay! 
Hell, depending on how long this fight is, I might have actually cut out most all my redos anyway. So, sorry about that to begin with. So, I guess I'll just explain again, just in case. Yeah, I think I might cut out all my redos anyway. Just because this is this level is taking me forever. So, Super Sonic. I've made it here a few times. Haven't beat him yet. When I win, it will. When I win, every time I win, it's always been my blind reaction to the victory because I never know what comes next. So I guess you uh, have that for the blind let's play. That said, so far I have mm, not really figured out how to beat this boss. I know that you can still take damage if you're supersonic, which is kind of a nice touch. Makes it a little bit more. Uh, worrisome and makes you have to worry about more than just time that said I'm still not entirely 100% certain what the parameters are for damaging the enemies like what the uh, what I'm supposed to look for and I'm also not sure if they're you know fighting each other or fighting me or what it's not exactly well explained what's going on right now but if you're playing as supersonic and you want to fly, you just jump in the air and press X and you can fly wherever you want. Which is really nice. You have full 360 degree movement. And if you double tab X at the uh, cost of five rings, you can actually do a dash attack. What it's good for, I don't know. Probably getting past your enemy's defenses really quick. But if you do it too often, it'll really wreck your rings. An upside though is you actually kind of attract rings like you have a magnet shield. So that's nice. And I have no idea how many times you have to hit the dude to actually beat him. But the more you attack him, the more you lower his little shield, and the more you er, and the more you get a chance to hit him. I think he has six little spheres that fly around him. And uh, if you're quick enough, you can even get straight through him. Honestly, so far this fight actually doesn't seem that hard. What's going on? What just happened? So, are they going at it? Nope. I don't know what's going on. Eggman? Stop that. Bending reality to your will is not something that I'm going to allow while I'm here. And you. I don't know who you are, but you're not allowed here either. No robots. I'm a roboticist. You're damn right I am. Robots of devil's minions. Hey, I beat him! Does that mean... I beat Eggman too! Does that mean... Does that mean I win? What... And what's going on? What's going on? Was that not the final boss? It was a time stone. So cool, that was Sonic Mania. Sweet! I completed the Sonic playthrough. Can't wait to get through Knuckles. That's gonna be fun. Also, I think for Knuckles, I'm gonna do a Knuckles and Knuckles playthrough. Just because I feel like that needs to be a thing. Like, realistically, I, I may as well. I mean, everyone else is probably gonna be doing it, but since I already completed one legitimate playthrough, but I haven't done a legitimate playthrough of Knuckles yet, but technically it's just adding another Knuckles. Yeah, I'm going to do Knuckles and Knuckles for the Knuckles playthrough, but wow, I have two Knuckles playthroughs to do. Oh, wow. But I have to get the Knuckles playthrough done before I do the review. Oh, yeah, so at the time of recording this, I still haven't even done my review yet. Um, but obviously the reviews come out before the Sonic Mania Let's Play has gone up, so... Hell, if I get it done, it might even go up before I have the, uh... I'm aiming for September 13th, but it might go up before then if I can get it done before then. That said, um... 
I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and I really hope you. I really hope I wasn't boring for you. Uh, I tried to make it a little bit entertaining, and um, hopefully, monitors not paying attention because I can't deal with some uh, dick who's going to start insulting and questioning my gaming credentials just because I'm not playing up to his standards. <sighs> but whatever, I'm not going to talk shit about monitor behind his back. Anyway. Wow, that was quite an experience. That was really fun. Took me ten hours to complete three playthroughs, more or less. And when I say playthroughs, I mean I every playthrough I got up to uh, the first one I got up to um, Mirage Saloon. The second one I got up to Oil Oasis, and the third one is this one. So not full playthroughs, but three basic playthroughs, more or less. Oh wow, that was that was quite an experience. Anyway, with that guys, thanks for uh, watching. I'm nobody. I really hope you enjoyed uh, the playthrough. I hope you stick around for all the future ones, and I hope to see you next time on whatever we happen to be playing. Until then, later.